Now I want to show and take us to the film room here for uh, Facebook and watch it here on replay on the um, on the broadcast on our uh, on our channel. And I want to take us back to Week Four against the Eagles, as you see right here. We're in a goal line situation. We've got uh, Claypool right here on the right hand side of the line. He's going to be coming into motion. And then we have a lead blocker, which is usually the running back. In this instance, it is uh, Ed Edmonds. Yes, and it Trey looks Edmonds. like right here in the backfield is uh, Snell. So on this play, we're going to see uh, Claypool come around, go into motion, and oh, and I hit the wrong button. Of course, <laughs> I'm always hitting the wrong button. All right, and so here good. we go. And here he goes. He's going to come down. Ben's going to call a play. Coming into motion, he's getting the ball quickly. Coming around the edge, they seal the edge, and he goes into the end zone. Fast forward to four weeks. We're on the end zone again. Same look. Claypool on the right-hand side. This time we have Samuels as the lead blocker with Connor in the backfield. Same look coming around. Watch this. Here comes Claypool into motion. Again, not going to Claypool this time, going up the middle. And this is something now that the Steelers are not just building plays from within a game. They're building plays across games. So that play is the same set. You can go either way. It made – you saw the defense shift a little bit there to the left when Claypool came across. And, of course, because they've got to respect his speed on the edge, and they got an easy touchdown up the middle with Connor in that situation. So kudos yeah. to the coaching staff 